So you guys know there are a bunch of smartphones coming out. I know Kyle does. Kyle's a new guy around here. He's on camera. There are a bunch of smartphones coming out and oftentimes you're gonna find a smartphone that is killer and at a pretty cheap price. With the iPhone 10 costing $1,000, chill out. This isn't the real one here. A lot of videos are coming up on that soon. You guys have probably already seen a bunch. It's kind of a deal breaker. Thousand bucks for a phone, that's all right. These phones here, not only have you haven't heard of them, but they have some pretty sweet stuff. In them. So if you guys wanna check out any of the phones mentioned, I'll leave them linked down below. We got the Mizuyu Pro 7, the Umi Digi S2. This is my favorite out of the bunch and I haven't even checked them out yet. And then the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. You guys have probably seen them and let's do it. We got the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. I saw the Mi Mix 1 or the Mi Mix OG, whatever it's called. And I really wanted to check it out. Now that I got the Mi Mix 2 here, we're chilling. Let's open this up. So this goes for 550 bucks. Vote up in the iCard which phone you guys think is the most worth it. I'll let you know at the end of the video. All right, standard accessories. Do we get any freebies or a case? Sometimes with these phones, you'll get like a freebie, a case, a screen protector. Oh my, we wait a minute. Wait a minute, I was distracted. Kyle, stop distracting me. We get a free case, that's nice. That's nice, you don't get this. Apple doesn't wine and dine you like this. Look at this. Whoa, this phone is feeling good right off the bat. It's a fingerprint magnet. I think it's glass in the back. I know there's a pro version of this and I'm pretty sure it's made out of ceramic. It's like some limited edition stuff. This thing's got four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage and a bezel-less screen. That's the cool thing about all these phones. The screen on them, bezel-less. Nothing fat like your iPhone 8 here with these thick bars, no, bezel-less. So let's check this out. Power now, now, got the speakers at the bottom, USB-C, that's good. At least we're all going to that. None of this micro USB stuff. Get it out of here. We gotta make some changes, one port. So the phone's all powered on now and whoa, it feels amazing having a six inch bezel-less display, like the only real bezel on here is at the bottom. It fills the entire screen like, I like this. And what's interesting is this year on the Mi Mix, we have an actual speaker port right up there. Whereas last year it would vibrate through the display. Kind of interesting. I like it. I'm, I'm messing with it. This looks great. Like this really looks great. And what's crazy is, I don't know if you can see this too well, but the front facing camera is actually at the bottom. Cause like, they don't have enough room to put it at the top. So we're gonna try out the camera right now. The back facing camera, it looks pretty good. Got a picture of my main man Rob back there. The front, this is where it gets interesting. You have to be careful about not having like your hand cover it up accidentally. It's one of those things that like, you'll actually probably end up doing. The camera's right down there. Like my palm kind of gets in the way a little bit. Oh, no way. On the front, it's, it's guessing my age. Can you see that? Age 27, 22. Whoa, how old do you think I'm looking? And like the way I tilt my face, it's guessing my age just based on like my facial expressions. I saw a 19 to 22. I'm feeling pretty young and groovy. Let's try to take a picture. Oh, it's, you see, like when I go to at least put my thumb on like the shutter button, it like reaches across and covers, covers the camera up. All right, I don't wanna cover the camera up. Okay, I guess we're gonna be taking photos with our left hand now. Wait, it's like I'm looking at the top expecting it to be like eye level, but I need to look down. That's kind of weird. Vote up in the iCard along the way, which phone you guys think is the most worth it. This phone is definitely interesting. And the fingerprint reader on the back, check this out. This is lightning fast, ready? I just rest my finger down and boom, I'm in. That's faster than Touch ID. And I know I said earlier, this phone's got four gigs of RAM. It's got six actually. And for 550 bucks, like this phone feels powerful. This thing's a badass. Next up is the Mizuyu Pro 7. This thing goes for $350. And what's cool about it is it has a six inch screen, just like the Mi Mix. It's running Android 7. And what gets even crazier is there's some bonus on the back. So let's open this up. Let's see how it goes. 350 bucks, let's see how this fares. Okay, so on the front, it's like your standard phone. Do we get any goodies? I always have to look. I feel like we're gonna get something. They hook it up. These Chinese companies, they hook it up. You get a case? No case. So sad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I almost wrote it off. No, no, no. Of course we get a case. Whoa, that looks crazy. And as you guys can tell, there's like this weird cutout on the back because there's actually a second display right underneath the rear cameras. What is this in here? A VIP card. Okay, 
I think that's like their warranty card. <laughs> Honestly, guys, like these phones, they just showed up. I thought all of them would be bezel-less. It's taking me like a moment to realize this phone isn't bezel-less. This is pretty much like my iPhone 8 Plus here. It's, you got some pretty thick bezels at the top. Also, this is a 5.2 inch screen, so just keep that in mind. Okay, let's just jump on into it. We got USB-C at the bottom. At least you're, oh, 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 oh. I almost forgot a headphone jack. This phone's looking pretty sweet. All right, let me turn this thing on. It's looking good, it feels good. It's made out of metal on the back. It's got a nice feel. Doesn't feel too cheap. We got a home button. That's a luxury in 2017. Looking at you, iPhone 10. I'm just learning this now. The rear display not only shows the time, I think you might've caught that, but it actually shows the camera, the viewfinder. It's right back here. You can get it, you can actually see what you wanna take, and then you just take it with the volume buttons. That's groovy. And it looks really good too. That's like a high quality display there. Yo, I like that. I wanna try out the fingerprint reader on here. I think it's gonna be good. All right, that was not bad. Was it as fast? As fast as the Mi Mix. If you want the best fingerprint reader, the Mi Mix 2 is gonna be your go-to here. And I know that, and we haven't even seen the third phone. This phone is pretty much like the old iPhone 6. Got your headphone jack, USB-C, even better. Thick bezels, they got it. Let me customize this screen. Oh, the secondary display. Notification management? That's sweet. I won't be seeing when my girl's calling. Oh, that's that's clutch. Rob, you don't want, I mean, when your girl's calling, dude, like, you don't wanna, you, you don't wanna know half the time. You don't need that noise, dude. Dude, you don't need that noise. That is what you're learning. All right, so you just double tap to wake it. That is sweet. Pedometer it shows you? This phone's got everything. I don't know how accurate that is, in fairness. That's awesome. Let me take a picture on the rear camera. For some reason, I'm not messing with the watermark down here. Taken with the dual camera. What is that? <laughs> this phone, 350 bucks, it's all right. The last one that just came in. This has got me hyped. This is the Umi DG S2. This thing goes for 200 bucks. And what's really cool is six inch display, low res, but 200 bucks and like the world's fattest battery. 5,100 milliamp hours. This thing will last you two days, no problem. Link to the world. I feel in touch with the world right now. I'm feeling good. What? Even better. There's a case put on there. I love the freebies. Charger. This is a nice box setup. Apple, take some notes. We've got a chicken. Ooh. We get the included 3.5 to USB adapter. Always nice. Oh wow, now we're chilling. So this is kind of one of the semi bezel displays. It's a six inch phone and like the Mi Mix, it occupies most of the screen. Like I'm comfortable with these kinds of bezels. The Mizu Pro is just like the Mizu. That's how we're saying, the Mizu Pro. It's It's got the thickest out of them here. All right, this is kind of wacky. Now that the S2 is on, it has a six inch display. It's not 1080p. And the only reason I'm mentioning this is because it matters when it's like a lower res display. It's a 720p one. And normally like I wouldn't say anything, but you can definitely tell if you look just a little closer at your phone. Also, this being so large, it's, it's weird. It's got an 18 by nine aspect ratio. So it's really long. And that's kind of how the iPhone X is doing it too. The iPhone 10. Since it's got a 5.8 inch display, it's gonna feel like you're using a 4.7 inch iPhone. Like pretty much an iPhone 6, iPhone 7, or the iPhone 8. Weird, all right, I like it. Let's check out the camera. Oh, yo, that front facing camera. No good, no good. Let's check out the back one. Rob, what you thinking? Get some poses in there, man. We're shooting in the light, so it's like, it's all right. It's capturing detail the best it can. I mean, this is the cheapest phone on the list, 200 bucks. Check out that fingerprint reader. All right, fingerprint's pretty slow. The Mi Mix 2, though, is the fastest out of all these. Then I'd say the Mi Zhu and then the S2. Okay, so all these phones, they're pretty interesting. We got the S2 and the Pro 7, both made out of metal, whereas the Mi Mix has like more of a glass feel. This is the more powerful one, obviously, because it costs more money. It's, it's, it's no competition at that point. The best one to get, though, in my opinion, has got to be the S2, 200 bucks, six inch display what's crazy is the battery on this thing is gonna last you two days two days of heavy usage if you guys need a phone a secondary phone someone to give a phone to get them this they're gonna like it
So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you get subscribed and you turn those notifications on. Let me know in the comments which phone you guys thought was the most worth it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.